Hi, good morning. I'm Shora Hayes and welcome to my channel. Um, this morning, it is Thursday and I'm contemplating going out for a run right now. Um, it's absolutely chucking it down with rain, so I'm procrastinating. Um, so I'm just sitting here with my coffee. I've got my running kit on um, and I'm putting it off really. <laughs> How many of you do that? I'm sure a lot of us do. Oh my God, I've just come outside. It's getting light anyway, but can you hear the rain? I don't know if you can hear the rain. So the plan today is to run just 20 minutes. I'm building up from injury. So I have only been running once a week, which has that run has been getting um, longer every week. So now I'm trying to introduce a second run to my week um, and then hopefully later on I'll be able to put a third one in and maybe even a fourth, we'll just have to see how it goes. But it's very slowly, slowly, early days. Um, so yeah, so this week the plan is two runs. Today will just be 20 minutes, maybe for a few faster sections in there just because I've got a 10k race in four weeks. And then I'll do a longer run on probably on Sunday which will be about uh, about an hour, I think, which is the time I'd like to do my 10K in. Um, but I think that's going to be pushing it right now with my park run 5K current fastest time being 27.34. Uh, it's nowhere near my PB of years ago, which is in the 23s, but um, I'm hoping to build up from there and maybe even get back to about 25 minutes by the end of the year. But Let's just see how it goes, obviously injury permitting. So I put this run off as long as possible and I'm gonna to have to go out now. Oh, I've been for my run, 20 minutes. Um, still raining. And actually, once you get out there, it's all right, you don't, I don't mind. It's just, it's just getting out there. <laughs> I procrastinate when the weather's crap. I'm quite soaked now though, but um, I need to get out of these wet clothes pretty quickly. Uh, if you watched the last episode, you'll realise that I had a bit of a hip problem for the last uh, couple of minutes of my run on Sunday. Same thing's happened again today. Um, and it's only when I run. I don't feel it any other time. I don't feel it when I walk. Um, and it seems to be when I'm running slower. So I did three or four um, kind of faster intervals and I was fine and then it was when I started to slow down to do my recovery bits it started to hurt again I get these kind of sharp pains so I don't know what that's all about but I suspect it's actually not anything that serious and I, I'm just a bit tight around the hips or something um, I have been doing quite a bit of hip strengthening exercises the last couple of months um, to try and help my injuries so it may just be that they've tightened up so I'll have to work on those. Loads of foam rolling today, loads of stretching, um, probably some yoga focusing on hips. Just uh, see if that might help it because obviously I want to do a longer run on Sunday and that's going to be a bit of a problem otherwise. So, right, I'm just going to go and get a shower and dry off before I get cold. Um, and uh, I'll talk to you again another time. So this is Brian. Say hello, Brian. <laughs> Brian's running Boston Marathon, aren't you? Apparently. <laughs> and this is Brian's dog, Monty. Say hello, Monty. He's not doing Boston Marathon. He's not doing Boston Marathon. <laughs> so, Brian, what's the plan for Boston? What are you hoping for? What are your goals? <laughs> to complete it. To complete it, yeah. Under 250, hopefully. Under 250. So your PB is what? 251. 251, so we're hoping for a PB then. Hopefully. Is that your A goal? Or your C goal? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're birds. <laughs> C goals. Okay, this is Brian. Say hello, Brian. Hi. This is Brian's dog, Monty. Say hello, Monty. Yeah, he's a bit sleepy. <laughs> Brian's doing the Boston Marathon next week. Yes. What are you hoping for, Brian? What's your goals? Hopefully to do 237. 237? Is that your A goal? That'd be my A goal. So, have you got a B and a C goal? <laughs> <laughs> so, 
So what what if that's your A goal, what else would be acceptable? So B, B goal only anything under two fifty one, which is my PB, and C goals just to finish. It's all right, mate. What are you doing, Monty? Are you looking forward to it though? Apprehensive. Apprehensive. But you've been running for years, so you'll be fine, right? You're very experienced, you'll be alright. Yeah, but I'm an addict. I had an injury, which Oh yeah, yeah. So for anyone listening or watching, what injury did you have? Uh Paul me Achilles I was out for six weeks. Yeah. But it's okay now, right? Yeah, just not to rehab. Yeah, not to rehab and you've done twenty mile runs since and yes. that was all right. Yeah, that was yeah. better than planned. Well that's good, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So we're off on Wednesday. Yes, we're off to Boston. Yay, Boston baby. And Monty's taken up prime space on the bed this morning. So there's no room for anybody else, haven't you, Monty? Hey? Hey? You little bugger. Yeah. It's Sunday morning now. Um, just getting ready to go for my run. Uh, just wait for my porridge to cool down. I always eat that before a run, seems to work for me. I've just got a really small bowl full because um, I've left it a bit late to get up actually. I really should have got up at six o'clock. It's now 7.30. I was hoping to be out by now. Um, it has finally stopped raining, <laughs> but um, and it's now gonna be 45 mile an hour winds today. So good old British weather. Here we go, I can never rely on it. Um, so the, it's quite windy now. I'm just looking out the window, um, but it's probably about 18 miles an hour. It's going to get to 45. Um, the forecast is for eight o'clock. So I've not really got time now to go out before it gets too windy. So fingers crossed it'll be all right and it'll just hang on a bit for me. Um, so I'm going to wear the Coros band today. Um, I did wear that for my last run. And uh, I've noticed that my heart rate isn't showing as being as high anymore. So I think it's definitely working. I've just checked my run settings on my Garmin and it says my heart rate monitor is definitely connected. So I know that that is actually working. So that's good. Um, so planning on an hour's run today, roughly, there and thereabouts. Um, and yeah, <laughs> that all depends on the hip though. Obviously I've still been having problems with the hip the last couple of runs. Um, I have done quite a lot of sort of foam rolling and stretching and I'll do some more before I go out today. Um, so hopefully that won't happen again today, but if it does, I'll just have to maybe try and stretch it out mid-run and see if it goes away. I don't, like I said before, I don't think it's anything serious. And I spoke to Brian yesterday and he said, actually, he's had the same thing once before and he, he's got this really good physio guy that's worked with um, the Olympic team, I think. Certainly he's worked with the elites. And um, he just did a few sort of leg bends and manipulated it a bit and it went away and never came back. So I'm not worried now that it's anything serious. But obviously I do need to try and get rid of it because um, I want to do some running while we're in Boston this week. Um, we've got a park run lined up. We're hoping to do um, Jamaica Pond park run to get our J for our alphabet. And it will be um, our first park run abroad. So really looking forward to that. And um, obviously Brian's running the marathon, so I won't be running at the weekend um, other than park run. But I'm hoping to maybe get another run in while I'm there, at least one more. Um, maybe I'll do another 10k. I think there's a park nearby where we're staying. We're staying just out of Boston, actually. We're staying in Quincy. So I think there's a park near our hotel. Um, so I'm hoping we'll be able to run there and maybe run along the coast there because I think there's some beaches and stuff actually. So fingers crossed that that would be really good and you know it would be a nice place to run. Garmin seems quite happy with me this morning. Just looking at my morning report, it says um, that I've had some good sleep. It's um, 80 for my sleep over eight hours. Um, my training status is uh, maintaining at the moment, so. We'll see what that looks like when I come back from my run. Um, my VO2 max did go up again because it went down last time I ran. Um, went from 47 to 46. It's now gone up to 47 again. So we'll see how it is, but I'm only going to do a sort of slow-ish, steady run today. 
so it may go down again. It seems to like the fast stuff, doesn't it, your VO2 max? Um, my heart rate, heart rate variation is balanced. Body battery is at 63, so it's not too bad. Um, yeah, so training readiness high, 76. So Garmin loves me today, so that's good. I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to film today on my run because obviously it's quite windy, so um, that wind might pick up on the sound on the video, so I'll try and do a little bit if I can. Um, as I said, the wind's meant to get quite heavy later. Um, it's 7.45 now, so I need to just get warmed up and get uh, some activations, exercises done, and then get out. I've got a lot to do today. I've got to do um, all my packing for Boston. Um, amongst other things so so I'm working Monday Tuesday and then we're off Wednesday so um, this is my last day really to get anything done so right better crack on I don't know if you can hear the wind but it's gonna be a bit breezy I think uh, just walking down the road to get started for my run just a little bit of a warm-up uh, oh yeah it's definitely gonna be windy oh this could be hard work Beautiful day though. I just wish this wind wasn't quite so bad. I think my hips gonna start hurting in a minute. I could just feel a little twinge. Oh time to stop, stretch it out. So I find if I pick my legs up a bit higher, I do I am a bit of a shuffly run and actually the hip pain has gone for now so fingers crossed <laughs> it will be okay for the rest of the run Lost my sunglasses in the wind. <sighs> right, just going up this hill. It's not even really steep, it's quite a long, <coughs> excuse me, slow incline. I just had to stop again at the bottom and I'm uh, running back up again. Uh, my hip started to go again a little bit, but it's not too bad actually. Uh, hopefully, I'll be able to get up this hill. At least there's no wind this time, this going up, <laughs> coming down, there's a real big side wind. They nearly knocked me in the ditch down there. <sighs> oh, I hate this hill, don't know why. I've done bigger hills that feel less hard. So, I'm actually 28, 43 minutes in. So I'm nearly halfway into my hour long run. Let's get to the top of this hill, have a little bit of a breather. Oh. Oh. I really need to get some hill training in. My uh, 
hill score on my Garmin Phoenix 7 is about 39 I think which isn't very good I think yeah that's pretty accurate oh, just trying to build up some endurance at the moment so I'm around 10k quite a while and I think my race is now three weeks away I want to say three weeks so not long at all now and I'm in America for one of those weeks so I'm not sure how much running I have time to do much at the top now Sorry, the camera's so shaky. Right, we're at the top. Time to stop for a minute. 40 minutes in. So far, so good. Uh, wind's not too bad, actually. It's not as windy as I'd expected. So hopefully I'll be finished before the wind gets up too bad. But feeling all right. Hip's been okay for the last 10 minutes. Fingers crossed. If you can see my watch, I'm 50 minutes in. Oh, 10 minutes to go. Feeling good. So, I was just trying to remember when the last time I ran 10k was. It's been a while now. Uh, so I'm thinking, rather than do an hour, I might just do 10k, which probably isn't going to be much more, to be honest. So, I'll just get carry on down this road a little bit before I turn around and head back for home. We're 54 minutes in now. Uh, I've done 5.21 miles. So I've got another mile, which is actually further than I thought, but I'm just taking it easy. Last half a mile, oh, and then I'm home, which is about half a mile away, so it worked out really well. Oh, just this nice path all the way home. This is where I do my speed intervals, because it's a good surface. Oh. I'm starting to tire now. I think I need to work on my endurance a little bit. First five miles was okay. So it's just that last little bit really. I'll get there. I'm feeling good. Oh, 10k done. Oh, 10, 15 minute miles on average. I'm happy enough with that for now, but I am going to have to speed up a bit. There's no better feeling than finishing your run. Oh, good work today. Right, home for some fuel now.
My protein shake. I like to have a chocolate protein shake when I finish. Excuse me while I lick the lid. <laughs> Not very elegant. Mm. Need that. Um, got coffee in my favourite mug. <laughs> and of course water. Need to hydrate. Mm. So that run was all right, actually. Um, I think it went better than I expected. I think, um, yeah, just the last last mile really was quite difficult. I did my 10K. Let's just see what um, Garmin says. So my training status is now productive. Um, let's go into my last activity. So yeah, 6.22 miles, which is about 10K. One hour, three minutes, 46. Um, at 10.15 pace. Now, um, I've got a race, as I said, in three weeks. In fact, I'm wearing an old race t-shirt now. So Gear 10K, I did it in 2019. I've actually done it a few times. Um, that's my next race. Um, so that's the, uh, I think it's the Grand East Anglian Run. That's in Kings Lynn, Norfolk, which is not too far from me. So that's my next race. And I want to do that. Um, I want to break an hour, so sub one hour. So I need to go a little bit faster. I think if I can do about nine 40 minute miles pace, and I should be able to do it. Um, obviously, I got to knock nearly four minutes off what I did today, but I was only taking it relatively easy. But I do need to get a bit more endurance, I think, just to be able to keep going at a faster pace. Um, so I believe it's three weeks away. So it isn't a lot of time, actually. You know, if I don't do it, I don't do it. I'm, it's not really the end of the world. I've now got um, quite a few races booked up, all 10Ks, um, over the the year and going into 2025 as well, actually. So, as I said, I've got gear 10K. I think that's three weeks. And then um, the next one after that, I think, I, I keep saying it's in August, but I think it's actually September. Um, they've changed the date this year for some reason and that is Norwich, run Norwich 10k um, and then I've actually just got into ballot for a run through, um, a free free run through event in um, London. We didn't know where, exactly where it was going to be but that's in October and now they've uh, said it's going to be at the Queen Elizabeth Olympic Park up in Stratford. So I've got into that, Brian hasn't, so um, I don't know where he's going to come and watch, but it doesn't really matter, I've, I've got a hotel booked and stuff, so that'd be fine. Um, and then in November, I've actually booked with my running group to go to um, Benidorm. There's a half marathon and a 10k on, so I'm just going to do the 10k because I think half marathon now coming back from injury is probably too much this year, so I'll maybe look at seeing how I get on next year. Um, but I'd love to do a half marathon again. I used to do half marathons quite a lot and um, that was always my favourite distance. But you can't do too much too soon, obviously. So 10k for now, sticking with that. Um, and then I've entered the London Winter Run, as I said before, in February next year. So um, yeah, if all goes well this year, I'll look at doing something a bit longer next year. But um, Garmin seems to be quite happy with me anyway, although it's made my um, anticipated 5k time, it keeps getting slower, but that's fine because it was way too fast, it kept saying I could do it in sub 24 minutes, which um, I think even with six months training might be a little bit, um, <laughs> a little bit over positive, shall we say. So um, let's see if there's any more stats on here for today's run. It says my heart rate got up to 167 
Um, yeah, I mean, I mean, I'm wearing a Coros heart rate band, so um, I've noticed my heart rates are a bit lower now wearing that than they were with just using the Garmin watch heart rate monitor. So I'm guessing actually that's a bit more accurate now because they did seem to be quite high. As I said, I could never get in zone five. Um, so I'll have a look later and see if, right, it's, I didn't get into zone five today, but that's fair enough, I wouldn't expect to. My average heart rate was 150 um, and it looks like it was predominantly zone three and four. I'm surprised I got into zone four, I didn't think I was running quick enough. Um, although it did get quite tiring towards the end. Uh, so you're 1% in zone one, 11% in zone two, 40% in zone three, and 45% in zone four. So that was a, definitely an aerobic exercise today. Um, yeah, happy enough with that. So that was, yeah, it says 4.6 aerobic benefit. Perfect, right. Gonna go and have a shower and then make it packing for America. The packing for Boston has started. Um, bought a new suitcase because I didn't have one big enough. I've got all my clothes in here. So I've got um, three sets of running kit, a um, couple of pairs of jeans, stuff like that. So yeah, all good. Now I've just got to pack the other side of the case. So what I like to do is put all my toiletries and anything that's likely to split um, in my case in um, resealable plastic bags. So just a little tip for you there, um, because it has happened to me before where they've split and it's just gone all over my clothes and everything. So that's what I've done here. Uh, I've also got my coffee. Um, if you've watched any of my other videos, you probably realise I do like my coffee. So um, I'm a bit particular about my coffee. We've got a coffee maker in our hotel room. So um, that's why I'm taking that. And there's no kettle though in our hotel room. So I have packed a kettle because we're taking porridge pots as well. Um, and we need to be able to make those. Got my running shoes, got a spare pair of shoes just to walk around in. Um, bag of toiletries. Um, this is brilliant, this massage ball. Cause I can't take my foam roller, I don't really have space. So this is amazing. Um, I use this a lot and this is just from Decathlon. I think it was about six ninety nine. dollars um, So I'm taking that and I'm taking a resistance band as well just to do a bit of activation work, get some, a little bit of strength work in perhaps as well. And uh, I think apart from the odd little bits before I leave, that's pretty much it. I've got some luggage straps as well um, just to identify my case at the other end. And then um, for my hand luggage, I've got the usual things. I've got, um, oh, that can go in my luggage, my suitcase. I've got my Runner's World, Boston Guidebook. So I'm just going to read those on the plane. I will take my Kindle as well. And I can download a few movies from Netflix before I go to watch on the plane. Although I'm sure they'll be showing movies anyway. Park run barcode, so we're going to do a park run while we're over there. Um, my spectacles, I've got some headphones with wires, both for me and Brian, and some little plane adapters in case we need those. Um, I've got American travel adapter with lots of USB sockets, so Brian and I are going to share that. Um, I've got an eye mask because um, we're probably going to need to get a bit of sleep on the plane. Um, my power bank which I need to charge before I put it in my bag. Um, and in my hand luggage, I haven't really got any liquids um, because they're all in my suitcase, but I'm just gonna take some hand gel and there's a little mini toothpaste and toothbrush just in case my luggage gets delayed or lost. Um, medication has to be, I believe, in your hand luggage in a separate bag. Um, so that's what I've done. That's my HRT. Can't be without that, unfortunately. Um, and yeah, I'm just taking this little bag down here um, for my, just to carry on the plane, which should fit under the seat. Obviously, I've got my passport in there, my money and all my documents. Um, and yeah, I think we're almost there. 
time for me to relax now for the rest of the afternoon. Um, hope to see you again on here soon. If you enjoyed this video, please like, give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe, share it with your friends. And next week's video will be all about our trip to Boston and Brian running the marathon. If you don't want to miss that, please hit the notification button. Um, until then, take care and we hope to see you again on here soon.